Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we are digging into a question that has really split the orthopedic community for a long time. When you have a severe ankle fracture, is doing a more complicated surgery actually the better way to go? Well, a major new analysis might finally have the answer. Okay, let's dive right in. To really get what this debate is all about, we first have to zoom in on one very specific and super important part of your ankle's anatomy. And that piece of the puzzle is the deltoid ligament. You know, most people hear fracture and they immediately think about bones. But this story, this is really all about the powerful ligament that's responsible for holding the whole joint together. So the deltoid ligament, or DL for short, is this really thick, strong band of tissue right on the inner side of your ankle. Its main job, stability. It's basically the anchor of the joint, preventing your ankle from rolling inward and making sure the main ankle bone doesn't slip out of place. Here's a great way to think about it. Imagine your ankle is a door hinge. The bones are the door and the frame, but the ligaments, they're the hinge pins. If that deltoid ligament tears, well, one of those pins is broken. The whole hinge gets loose and wobbly, and the entire joint just isn't stable anymore. So how can a surgeon tell if that ligament is badly torn? Well, they look at an x-ray and measure something called the medial clear space. It's literally the gap between the bones on the inside of the joint. If that gap is too wide, it's a dead giveaway that the ligament isn't doing its job and the ankle is unstable. And that instability brings us right to the heart of the dilemma, a debate that's been going on in operating rooms for decades. So here's the big question. After the surgeon has fixed the broken bones, should they take that extra, more complicated step to actually stitch the torn deltoid ligament back together? Or is it better to just fix the bones and trust that the ligament will heal itself over time? And this really lays out the two schools of thought. On one side, you have the argument for not repairing it. You know, the body's pretty amazing at healing, the surgery is faster, and some of the older, smaller studies didn't really show a difference. But on the other hand, the argument for repair is all about ensuring it heals perfectly, giving you back that crucial stability, and hopefully preventing problems down the road. So to try and finally settle this thing, researchers turned to one of the most powerful tools in medicine, the meta-analysis. They figured, instead of relying on any single study, why not pool all the evidence together and see if a clearer answer emerges? A meta-analysis is basically like a super study. You're not starting from scratch. Instead, you're gathering up all the data from multiple, high-quality studies and combining it. This gives your final conclusion way more statistical power. And these researchers were incredibly thorough. They scoured four huge medical databases, sifted through thousands of records to find just eight key studies that fit their criteria, and then they pooled all of that patient data for one big head-to-head -head showdown. All in all, they analyzed the outcomes of 388 different patients. Now, why is that number so important? Because with a sample size this big, you can start to spot subtle but really important differences in outcomes that those smaller individual studies might have completely missed. So after all that work, what did the data actually show? Did repairing that ligament really make a difference in the end? The answer was a clear yes. And it starts with stability. Remember that medial clear space we talked about? The data showed that the repair group had a significantly smaller gap, meaning a tighter, more stable joint, both right after the surgery and at their final checkout. And that better stability wasn't just some number on an x-ray. It translated into real-world results. Using a standard scale for pain and function called the AOFAS score, the repair group scored way higher. That means they had much better overall ankle function. Now this might be the most important finding. The analysis found a huge difference in complications. The non-repair group had a much higher rate of problems later on, especially something called malreduction, which basically means the joint didn't heal in perfect alignment. Repairing the ligament helped prevent that. But here's a fascinating twist. Even with all those clear advantages in stability and function, patients in both groups actually reported about the same level of pain in the long run. It suggests the real benefits of repair are more about the mechanics of the joint than just about pain relief itself. Okay, so when you put all of these pieces together, the stability, the function, the complication rates, what's the final takeaway from this huge investigation? The evidence is pretty hard to argue with. Repairing the deltoid ligament gives you a more stable ankle, significantly better function in the long run, and a much lower risk of complications. That's a trifecta of benefits right there. And you don't just have to take my word for it. 
The study's authors summed it up perfectly themselves, saying that repair offered great advantages by improving stability and the overall quality of the joint reconstruction. This leaves us with one final big thought. When powerful evidence like this comes to light, it really challenges the old way of doing things. And it begs the question, are we on the verge of seeing a fundamental shift in how surgeons all over the world treat this incredibly common and often debilitating injury? The data certainly suggests we should be.